Hello, in this tutorial, we are going to find out BBS for these distribution bars. Okay, so let's get started. Let's move here in Excel sheet and we will go here number two. And it is a underground septic tank, but it is okay. So let me just copy this instead of writing over here. And uh, we have the same size over here, okay? Length, breadth, and the height. So I'll paste it over here, the same. And instead of main bars, we have these distribution bars, okay? Spacing for main bars and the distribution bars is same. You can see over here, we have six inch center to center. Die is also same. So six inch center to center. Let me just copy this format over here as well, okay? Now next to it, uh, shape definitely will be same also, okay. Uh, we have here in this direction as well the band, okay. In this direction and this direction. So shape is also same. So we'll create the same shape over here as well, okay. Let me simply go here, select this one, this one, this one, and this one, okay. So this is what the shape of this bar. Now what about the band directions? the same because we have two bands of 90 degree over here as well so what we will do uh, we will use the same formula over here we have equal to two bands multiply by two into d two into d is the die off bar so die off bar will be here divided by eight in order to convert it into inches it enter okay so this is bend detection next to it uh, we need to add here the development length okay development length over here is 16 into d equal to we can copy this formula as well but again equal to 16 into dia bar dia is this divided by 8 in order to convert it into inches hit enter and dia bar the same as number 4 okay what number 4 and you can see the details over here now concrete cover one inch for water tank or the septic tank okay next to it number of bars we need to find out number of bars now let's look about the span it is very important now this is basically cut length of bar and this is basically the span sorry here this is basically the cut length of bar and this is basically the span so breadth is span okay span over here is breadth equal to span okay span here is breadth okay minus concrete cover from both ends okay span divided by spacing okay spacing is what six inch center to center span divided by spacing plus one will give us what the total number of bars and it is again 19.66 it's mean that we need to round up this one okay so let me round up this one round up okay start the bracket and comma close the bracket okay hit enter so we have total of 20 bars over here multiply by number of members so distribution bars we have double reinforcement at the bottom and the top we have two members so two multiply by and we need to find out the total numbers over here and the total numbers this formula is same so copy this one and we can paste it over here as well okay so number of bars multiply by number of members next to it uh, we need to find out this cut length okay the base and the bands as well bands we know and uh, these are the bands okay eight inch let me simply move it toward this direction at the center equal to this one as well and uh, move it toward this direction sorry what i'm doing now next to it we need to find out this horizontal length as well and remember uh, our span in the distribution bars was what the length i think is span number of bars yes span was breadth and what about the cut length cut length will be length okay this one from this position up till here so what we need to do is uh, we need to find out this horizontal length equal to uh, we need to just find out the length minus concrete cover from both ends and hit enter so this is basically the total length move it toward this direction okay 
now we have find out the bends and the horizontal length and the bend directions as well now it is time to find out what the total length okay copy this formula and paste it over here double click over here and you can see the formula over here i have just used same formula over here we have two bends the horizontal length okay and uh, we need to detect the bends from here multiply by total numbers okay will give us the total length okay and the number of members is two so we have find out the distribution bar over here as well okay the main bars and the distribution bar here in this bed okay these bars and at the top we have these bars okay main and the distribution bars now definitely we need to find out the chair bar as well as this is not mentioned here and overall you will not find the chair bar over here but we need to find out this one okay so number three we have chair bar so let me simply go here number three okay okay underground uh, water tank bed so copy this one okay paste it over here then the size is same so copy this one paste it over here okay and we have what the chair bar chair bars okay there is no any spacing need over here because we now in 10 square feet we need one of the chair bar okay and now it is time to create a shape for the chair bar okay so yes okay let me just merge both of this and i'll create one shape over here for the chair bar merge this as well and this as well okay now i'll create one shape over here for the chair bar so simply i'll go here draw border this one this one this one this one okay so this is basically the shape of the chair we have head over here we have height over here and we have leg over here okay this is what we need over here and then we need to go for the bend directions and definitely bend we have one two three and four bends are over here so we need to do the bend direction i'll copy this formula and i'll paste simply over here okay and instead of two i'll go with four bends over here four bends for 90 degree 2d okay and uh, next to it no need to add here bend or the development length over here dia again the same we will use over here number four bar we will use over here bend directions you can see over here and no need to add here the concrete cover for this bar and uh, in order to find out total number of bars we need to do what from the total area okay of uh, this septic tank we need to divide it on what 10 in order to find out total number of bars so let me simply go here okay this is basically uh, the area where we need to just place the chair bars okay so this is the area okay with this command we can find out the total area and uh, area over here is uh, 109.25 square feet 109.25 square feet let's find out the equal to 109.25 divided by 10 okay close the bracket hit enter so we need total of 10.9 to mean some around 11 chair bars we need over here okay so i'll do what round up start the bracket comma close the bracket okay and hit enter so we need total of 11 number of members definitely only one foundation we have on the bed over here is okay one multiply by total numbers and the total numbers will be equal to number of bars multiply by number of members so hit enter so we have find out all of this now it is time to find out the cut length okay so let me merge this one and this one in order to find out this one okay now for leg we now the formula 2 into spacing okay 2 into spacing plus 3 inch for the leg okay so what we will do over here equal to 2 into spacing of what bottom main bars okay so spacing here is a 6 inch center so, okay 6 inch center to center so let me just close with the bracket 
ओके टू इंटू स्पेसिंग प्लस थ्री इन इंचज इट इज थ्री इन मिलीमीटर इट इज फिफ्टी ओके सो दिस इज बेसिकली द टोटल लेंथ फॉर द लेग ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस बोथ ऑफ दीज आर सेम ओके फॉर हेड वी नाउ इट इज फिफ्टी डी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी इंटू डाया ऑफ अवर बार सो फिफ्टी इंटू डाया दैट वी आर यूजिंग ओवर हेयर इज नंबर फोर डिवाइडेड बाई एट ओके सो फिफ्टी डी इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव इंच ओके नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट वॉट द हाइट ओके लेट मी जस्ट ऑन माई दिस वन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द हाइट ओवर हेयर ओके सो हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द हाइट I have already explained this one, but again, what we need to do is we need to detect what. Okay, the top concrete cover minus bottom concrete cover. Okay, then we need to detect top main bar dia, bottom okay, and distribution bar dia, and at bottom we need to detect only bottom distribution main bar dia. Okay, so equal to. From the total depth, okay, that is 12 inch. We need to detect concrete cover from both ends, one minus one, or it could be any concrete cover. Uh, minus, we need to detect what uh, top distribution bars and the main bars dia. Okay, so dia that we are using over here is number four dia. Number four dia mean 0.5 inch. So Zero point five minus zero point point five. Okay, top main and the distribution, and we need to detect bottom main bar dia as well minus the same bar dia we are using over here as well. Okay, so this is how we can find out this one. So it is total of eight point five. Let me move it toward this direction. No, oh, yes. Okay, and this is equal to this one. So we have find out what. and the chair bar okay we can find out the chair bar and uh, here the leg let me adjust this one okay leg of the chair height of the chair head of the chair okay and we have done with the bend directions as well now it is time to find out the total length and the total length will be equal to this plus this plus This plus this and plus this one minus we need to do the bend directions. Okay, bend is over here, ninety degree bend. Okay, multiply by total numbers and the total numbers over here. Multiply by total numbers divided by twelve in order to convert this into feet feet interval. So this is the total length, sixty two point three three feet. As the total length, let's take a round down formula over here. Round down. Start the bracket, comma, close the bracket, hit enter, and 62 chair, 62 feet length of chair bars we need over here. Okay, so we have find out main and the distribution bars and the chair bar as well. Okay, so hope you really understand this session. I'll see you in the next.